While Tesla was laying off 14,000 employees and cutting prices just to stay in the game, BYD's CEO quietly dropped a bombshell in Xi'an, which could destroy the EV industry as we know it. Picture this, a hybrid engine that gives you over 200 kilometers on a single tank and charge, with the highest thermal efficiency of any mass-produced vehicle, 46.06%. This isn't just a new engine, it's a shot across the bow. Wang Chan Fu isn't just competing anymore, he's rewriting the rules, and if he's right, Tesla may have just blinked at the worst possible moment, but how exactly does this new engine threaten to destroy an industry that's supposed to be the future? Let's break it down. BYD's new engine, the engine that broke physics. The answer lies in what BYD calls their fifth-generation DM technology, but calling it an upgrade doesn't do it justice. This isn't version 5. It's a reset button, a complete reimagining of what a car engine is supposed to be. And it's exactly why the BYD CEO just revealed a new engine that could destroy the EV industry. On May 28, 2024 in the city of Xi'an, Wang Chanfu walked onto a stage that looked like every other auto launch event. Two sleek new sedans rolled out, one called the Chinel DMI, the other the Seal 6 DMI. But this wasn't just about new paint jobs or infotainment screens. Under the hood, something unheard of had happened. What Wang revealed was a hybrid powertrain with a thermal efficiency of 46.06%. If that sounds like just another stat, let's put it in perspective. Most combustion engines waste around 70% of their fuel as heat, even Toyota's hybrids, the current gold standard, peak around 41%. So when BYD smashed that ceiling by over 5 percentage points, it didn't just set a new record, it rewrote what engineers thought was even possible in a production car. But here's what makes it truly dangerous to the EV industry. This isn't a return to old-school hybrids. BYD's 5th Gen DM is an electric-centric platform. That means the gasoline engine isn't even the main character, it's the supporting act. Most of the driving, especially in the city, is handled by the electric motor. The gas engine only comes on when it can operate in what they call its high-efficiency zone. So, it's never burning fuel at stoplights, crawling through traffic, or doing short trips where engines are typically the most wasteful. This isn't just clever design, it's a surgical reinvention. To pull this off, BYD had to run over 240 combustion experiments just to get the fuel mixture right. They tested more than 100 different cooling methods, they pushed the compression ratio up from 15.5 to 16. Now, that might sound like a tiny number bump, but in engine design, that's a tectonic shift. It meant redesigning the combustion chamber from scratch, rebalancing thermal loads, and rethinking how materials hold up under extreme stress. And, the result, uh, it doesn't just work in theory, it crushes in the real world. In June, during a live stream demo, BYD's head of branding and PR, Lee Yunth, drove one of the new DMI cars under regular condition. The car clocked in, at 2.54 liters per 100 kilometers. That's not marketing spin. That's better than BYD's own advertised number of 2.9. For context, a Tesla Model 3 eats up 16 to 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And, unlike a Tesla, this thing doesn't care whether you've got a charger nearby or not. With a full fuel tank and battery charge, the car can travel a combined range of 200 kilometers. That's not a typo. That's not wishful thinking. That's nearly three times what most gasoline cars can do, and about five times the real world range of most EVs on the road right now and all of it without hunting for a fast charger in the middle of nowhere. And Wang Chong Fu knows it. This was never about building one great hybrid, it was about breaking the illusion that fully electric was the only future worth chasing. He's not just trying to beat Tesla at its own game, he's building a new one altogether. And honestly, ask yourself this. Think about your last long road trip. Would you rather pull over every 300 kilometers for a half-hour charge, or just keep driving for 2,100 without ever needing a plug? Because for most people, the answer isn't about brand loyalty. It's about freedom, and that's exactly what BYD just offered the world. But as wild as this engine is, it's not even BYD's boldest move, because hidden behind it is a battery technology that just survived tests no other manufacturer even dared to attempt, and what it endured changes everything. The blade battery revolution. While Tesla struggled with battery fires and safety recalls, BYD built something so absurdly safe that they now stab it with steel nails on stage live just to prove it won't explode. Because this isn't just another battery. This is BYD's blade battery. And it might just be the most underestimated weapon in their entire arsenal. At first glance it's easy to miss how radical this design actually is. 
While most EV makers stack cylindrical cells like soda cans or fold pouch, cells like origami, BYD decided to flip the table entirely. Their cells are long, flat, and razor thin, arranged edge to edge like samurai blades inside the pack, not a gimmick. A full-blown structural redesign, one that sacrifices nothing and gains everything. Now, here's where things get wild. Most EV batteries, especially the ones using nickel, manganese, cobalt chemistry, have a problem. If the pack gets punctured, damaged, or overheats, it can hit 500 degrees Celsius and just erupt into flames. Tesla's had multiple high-profile fires. Nissan, GM, and Hyundai all have had their turn in the fire spotlight. But BYD's blade battery, when they jam a steel nail through it in front of a live audience, it barely even warms up. We're talking 30 to 60 degrees. That's the equivalent of a warm coffee. No flames, no smoke, no explosion. So yes, the blade battery passes the infamous nail penetration test, the single most brutal safety standard in the battery world. But this isn't about just surviving a test. It's about flipping the script on consumer fear. Because every viral Tesla fire reinforces the subconscious anxiety that EVs are ticking time bombs. BYD didn't just address that, they deleted it from the conversation. But safety, as monumental an achievement as it is, is merely the visible tip of the iceberg. Underneath this revolutionary battery lies a foundation that is systematically rewriting the very economics of electric mobility, challenging the cost structures that have constrained the entire industry for decades. The first and most critical area is energy density. BYD's engineers have achieved a seemingly impossible feat, squeezing a staggering 50% more juice into the same physical space, compared to old-school lithium iron phosphate cells. This leap in density is not a minor iteration, it is a generational bound that fundamentally alters the calculus of vehicle design. It means more range can be packed into a smaller lighter battery pack, or the same range can be achieved with a significantly smaller and cheaper pack, reducing the overall weight and cost of the vehicle in a virtuous cycle of efficiency. And they accomplish this paradigm shift without a single gram of cobalt. That single fact cannot be overstated, it's a strategic masterstroke that resonates far beyond the laboratory. Cobalt is not just another material, it is the linchpin of a deeply problematic and volatile supply chain. By designing it out entirely, BYD has achieved a level of strategic and economic independence that other manufacturers can only envy. This means no more dependency on rare earth elements sourced from geopolitically tense regions. No more entanglement with sketchy, ethically questionable mining supply chains that have long been the industry's dirty secret. No more playing a high-stakes game of commodity price roulette, where the cost of a key raw material can skyrocket overnight due to market speculation or export restrictions. The result is a level of manufacturing predictability and cost control that is, honestly, unprecedented in the EV sector. This translates directly into a powerful competitive advantage, the ability to produce batteries that are, by their very nature, cheaper, safer, and denser. This trifecta was once considered the impossible triangle of battery technology. A compromise had to be made. BYD has proven that this is no longer the case. They're building power units that are not only immune to thermal runaway, but are also immune to the inflationary pressures and supply chain anxieties that plague their competitors. This isn't just an improvement on an existing product, it's really the creation of a new, more resilient and economically superior foundation upon which the entire future of electric mobility can be built. This foundation is not a single technology, but rather a synergistic ecosystem of innovations that reinforce one another. It begins with the core chemistry, the cobalt-free blade-shaped LFP cell, which delivers an unprecedented combination of safety, energy density, and cost efficiency. This fundamental building block then enables a cascade of advantages across the entire automotive value chain. For manufacturers, this means escaping the volatile commodity markets that have long dictated profit margins and production schedules. It means building vehicles on a platform that is inherently less expensive to produce, more reliable due to its superior safety profile, and, you know, simpler to assemble thanks to its structural design. This manufacturing stability allows for aggressive yet sustainable pricing strategies that can undercut competitors while maintaining healthy margins. It is this holistic, ground-up re-engineering of both the product and the business model that gives BYD an unassailable edge in the race to make electrification accessible to the mass market. They are no longer just competing on features or price points, they're competing on the very architecture of their offering. 
While others are trying to win the race with a faster horse, BYD has built a more reliable, economical, and accessible engine for progress, one that empowers the entire market to move forward, thereby securing its position not merely as a car company, but as the architect of the next era of 